Hello, what's up guys? Welcome again to BRB Tube. And today, we will continue to explore the V8 sound card. Um, I did a um, live stream for the first time, but I used uh, my other account, which is the Vinny Boris Karaoke. I'll put the link on the description. And I mainly use this one uh, for like um, radio uh, purposes so I use the accompaniment area and then this one this wire goes to my laptop and I play the music from there and then I use my uh, headset which, which goes to this one headset and it's got built-in microphone and then that's where I was speaking and then I use the dodge so that while I was talking the background music uh, fades out then after I talk it just automatically goes up and that's pretty much what I did and it worked it was perfect now uh, the challenge is to use this again but uh, we will be using the Zoom G14 which instead of like what we did with my live stream we will be using this again in the accompaniment area here that's it accompaniment and then this end we put the jack there you go and it goes to the um, output of this one there we go so out going to V8 and then the input here is coming from the guitar right so the question would be now where do I plug the accompaniment or if I'm gonna be using a backing track because we've used this one the good news is the Zoom G14 got its own auxiliary in so I can use this for my backing track that area it can go to um, my mp3 player or I can use this one the Huawei P20 with this it came with this one plug okay and it's the same way that I'm going to record using my iPhone I get this jack as well and we will be recording uh, the session using the iPhone and this uh, jack that came with the iPhone so here it is and this bit will go to that one live one or live two either of the two will do let's connect it to live one there it is live one it's here that will go to my iPhone last but not the least I found this one. This is from my old Huawei. I think it's Honor 7. And this is gonna be our monitor. And we'll be talking via the microphone, built in microphone. So again, it will go here on the headset, not the external, um, or it's called earphone speaker. We'll use the headset so that the microphone as well as the monitor will work together. That's it. Uh, why I'm using this way, it's because it feels like, uh, this is just my uh, assumption, when I'm using either the condenser or the dynamic microphone, there seem to be a glitch. But when I used this during my live stream last night, the accompaniment um, input, 
it it works perfectly so i might suggest as well in the future to use a separate mixer and just plug it here and then this one goes to your cell phone and just avoid using this area um yep but for now our our test is about the zoom g14 going to the v8 and recording using iphone all right let's set up see you in a bit okay guys so we're all set the uh, microphone is uh, working i can hear it on the monitor and then um, the guitar i can hear it so i hope it's being recorded as well and then we can play some backing track uh, i search for a non-copyrighted backing track on youtube so let's just jump with this one So that's it guys um it was a bit sloppy what i did was i searched on youtube non-copyrighted backing tracks and then i saw that pressed it 
and just chase the chords uh, and record uh, but the one thing that's really bugging me is this one uh, when I'm talking through the microphone here uh, it's still not right uh, I, I'm not really happy with it so I think what's gonna happen is I will probably use this um, earphone speaker that one like a monitor and not the headset I won't use the condenser mic I won't use the dynamic mic so I will avoid that three I will just use the monitor and then I'll plug here uh, on the accompaniment because it seems like it's working um, better on the accompaniment and then I'll use my separate mixer feed it to this one to the V8 sound card and then V8 sound card goes to my iPhone and that's probably what's gonna happen and then through my mixer I'm gonna be plugging in my microphone either dynamic condenser whatever microphone is available and that's how I'm gonna be using this setup to be honest I think the Behringer UCA222 plugged into my iPhone or iPad and then mixer is a lot better than this uh, V8 uh, but for those of you guys who are looking for a cheaper solution if you're using an Android uh, device um, I think this is a good substitute all right um what else do I need to highlight um, yeah it's portable obviously if I will be using my my other mixer I'll be plugging it in uh, but I'm not happy with this three the headset the condenser and the dynamic mic the only thing that's working for me at the moment is the accompaniment input and the live streaming um, yeah for now that's my verdict with this V8 um, sound card but you can hear that you can record a nice um, sound via the accompaniment input all right so that's it for now guys uh, i hope i didn't disappoint you with this video but it's just you and i are just exploring this um, v8 sound card and we are really trying our best to find ways to really um, make use of it and what's the potential with this um, sound card i'll see you again soon uh, for those of you who are new to my channel please subscribe and share the video and god bless bye bye